Hey, lucky number 13 hair. That's what this is. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to day 13, fam. Let's just, I'm just, we're getting into it. Ooh, solar system. You can't read, you can't read that. Do, do, do. <laughs> Let's do it. Looking good so far. I think we need a galaxy background. Let's do it. Okay, I'm just gonna start painting the whole thing black. So here we go. Lucky number 13. Now the question is, answer is absolutely, of course I am. Now I'm actually gonna try and move kind of quickly here with getting my other colors because that galaxy look definitely has, has really good blending in it. And I'm really low on purple, so I'm gonna have to make some, but that's okay. Taking brush six, and I'm just gonna mishmash some, some blue in there. It's like barely gonna show up. I might need to get some lighter blue. I think we just need some white. Look at that color. It's actually quite nice. I'm just gonna smudge. Okay, and I'm just like smudging stuff in um, and patting it around because the background is still a little bit wet. But as I like smudge the edges and stuff, the color is definitely there but it's not so prominent that it doesn't look like maybe there's just, you know, there's just an, uh, a nebula or something. Yeah. Okay, we go smudge, 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 smudge. Um, let's make it a little bit purplier. Added some red. We're mixing red, white, and blue. This is the patriotism one. It doesn't look purple. Some red, ooh, and let's just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Is this right? Does this look like a thing? Sure. Kind of looks like clouds at the moment, but that's okay. We'll add in the stars. We'll add in the planets. It'll look a little more right. I'm gonna tap back into some black and give myself a little transition shade like that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just tipping to tapping like that and going in for the black to sort of blur the edges a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, do these look like solar flares or something? No, of course they don't look like solar flares, Andrea. Solar flares are red and yellow. Let's get a tiny brush and do some white stars. Yeah, tiny brush. Did a little dip, 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 dip. I'm just gonna place some random stars here and there. Doo -doo. Now, I uh, am not an astronomer, so None of these are gonna be accurately placed. In fact, the planets probably will not be all that accurately placed. Why? Because I am trying to fit nine planets and maybe even an asteroid belt on a very small expanse of canvas. So we're just, you're gonna accept the fact that I am a human who has not studied the skies and relies heavily on electronic navigation systems. But I think that looks pretty nice. Kind of want to put the sun at the bottom and just like curve. We're gonna start by making an outline of each of the planets so I can get the spacing and then we'll go in and put details. And I'm actually gonna outline them in white so that when I put other colors on it, they will pop a little bit more. So I've got brush six, Sun's gonna be right there. That's the sun. Cool, love it, perfect, fantastic. Then we've got Mercury, nice and tiny. And Venus is only a little bit bigger than that. And then the Earth, which is us. It's actually mixing with the blue and that works for the Earth. <laughs> Mars is a little bit smaller than that. Okay, okay. And again, my proportioning skills are not perfect, but we're trying our best. And then Jupiter's like fam. I am large and in char. And Saturn's like, yeah, I'm pretty big. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a big deal. Everybody likes me because I'm dripping in rings. I'm not as big as Jupiter, but you know, I've got accessories. And then, Uranus is like, everybody pronounces my name wrong, but I'm still having a good time. Neptune is like, I'm king of the sea, even though I'm one of the smaller planets, I'm king of the sea. 
And then Pluto is like, fam, up here, don't forget about me. I'm still here, man. I'm still, I've still got a seat at the table. I'm just gonna make each of the planets just a touch bigger. Speaking of Uranus, in eighth grade, I believe it was, in our science class, you know, there weren't just nine people in class, obviously, but everyone was assigned a different planet. Oh, it, it was a research project, if that wasn't clear. The kid who had Uranus, uh, when he was presenting his project, and, and, and he presented his on, like, a parent night. Like, a parent in the classroom sort of situation. And he went hard on pronouncing it Uranus. The, because the planet has a lot of water in it. He, he would be like, there is a massive amount of water inside your anus. And everyone and their mother, literally, was cracking up because all of the information he was saying was factual. He did his work. He did his research, but man, he was having a lot of fun saying Uranus in front of a bunch of adults. I am sure that he got an A on that project. He made it so much funnier just because he kept saying, Uranus is huge. <laughs> yeah, most of these are already pretty dry. So I'm gonna get some yellow in the mix and some more white and we're gonna start detailing everything. We're just gonna go from the bottom up, I think. I'm gonna make myself a very, very light yellow. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix some yellow and some white together because it isn't really a neon. It's more of this golden color. I'm gonna paint the whole thing and leave myself a little bit of a halo effect on the outer edge. Oh sort of trying to give that flare texture to the outer rim, sort of dark in the middle. I might add some red, just a little, a little dip a dip And I'm really dragging the yellow into the mixture. I like to keep things in piles like this so I can make a mixture. The more gradually you add in colors, the more likely you are to actually get to the color you want instead of just going a big old glob and going back and forth. If you just gradually add in more, you'll get there. I'm just gonna sort of darken this part a little bit. Oh, it looks like you mixed ketchup and mustard together, which I suppose I kind of did, color-wise. Yeah, that, okay, there we go, yeah. I don't even mind the texture on this because, you know, it's the sun. <laughs> kind of looks like flares. And we'll put a couple little, like, what do you call them? Those heat spots, those splotches on the sun where you can tell that the temperature is like, wah! Maybe a little, little, little sun spots. Are they just called sunspots? Post in the comments below. There, we have a sun. Yay. Alrighty, so Mercury is actually kind of orange. So I might be able to use some of this color, maybe a little bit deeper, a little more cheesy, but with some brown. So I need some brown. While I'm getting the brown, please enjoy the fact that some of this paint looks like a turtle. Look at that. Do you see that? You got one arm, another arm, the body and shell, and then the head. He just needs a couple of legs. Let's give him some legs. Is it a turtle leg or is it poop? Who knows? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna grab some of it and mix it in over here. Okay, mixing it in over here for that earth color. Hell yeah. Yee. Yeah. And go here. This is obviously perfect. Oh no! Ah! Okay, um, I'm gonna wait for that to dry before I carve it out. <gasps> Andrea, why? I'm gonna go back into more brown, right? Way deeper with the brown. I'm gonna sort of slim out the tip of the brush and like put in some, some other details. We very, very clearly know where the light is coming from because it's coming from the freaking sun because this is the solar system, solar meaning sun. Good job, there's your vocab. So I know this color is very much what Venus looks like as well. If you didn't know that that's why we call it the solar system. Um, hi, welcome to Earth. You probably just haven't had your, your most basic astronomy course yet. Okay, I think I just need some straight white in there. Ooh, okay, yeah, sort of a creamier color. I'm gonna go into to Mercury again. Sort of make that a little less yellow, a little less golden. And I'm still practicing this whole don't clean your brush technique because it's 
working for me. Okay, that little growth is killing me. I need my flat brush. And we're just taking a flat, flat, flat brush. I'm going zoop, carve, carve, carve. Ah, I feel so much better. Let's do some detailing on Venus. Did you guys ever play that, that dumb thing where you would like, it's like girls go to Mars to get more cars, boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. And it's like, dude, you just said more stupider. That's not a word. <laughs> You're not helping your point. There's a little bit of like lineage. We got another flatsy. And I'm gonna go into that dark-ish yellowy brown color. This one isn't as flat as the other one. Yeah, let's try a different one. No, I remember what the stupid thing was. Although de people definitely use Mars and cars. I remember what it was. Girls go to college to get more knowledge. And boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. The point stands. You're still calling someone stupider after using the word more. And that's just not, it's not right. Yeah, there we go. It's time for Earth. A little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. We make green. We add the white to make it a little bit of bright. Okay, so we're getting that stupid freaking teal color again. So I'm just going to keep adding in some yellow. Though it is sort of a gray or green because it's that earthy color. Do I have any black paint left on here? Cool. And I'm going to add more white. Yes. Oh my goodness. Look what that did. Look what that did. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? Y'all, yes. we gonna carve out some continents. So we got Africa. I left my brains down in Africa. It's my one of my favorite misheard lyrics of all time. And then there is South America. I remember when we were learning about the planets and people were talking about the Earth and then we sort of got into the conversation about Pangaea. Everyone was like, I mean, look at how perfectly Africa fits in the Gulf of Mexico. And I'm like, hold up, pull out. <laughs> yes, they're the same shape. Africa's way bigger <laughs> than the Gulf of Mexico. But you know, think what you wanna think. Asia, up. There, cool, okay. And we're gonna make the oceans a little bit darker. So I'm pulling in some of that light green into my blue, right, right in there. I don't want it to be true, true, true blue, right? But we need sort of an ocean-y color. A little white, ooh, look at that. Ooh, if our oceans were only that color, dang. Let some of the green leak in a little bit more. I'm just gonna sort of try and Place that in, flatten the brush, tap that in, cool. And of course we need some ice caps. So I just got, I'm just dipping the edge into the white. Let's go boop, 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 and boop. The earth! Now Mars is on the reddish brown side, right? So I have my brown mixture and I, have, I still have a bunch of red uh, on this part of the palette. So let's just take a scoop of the red, put it over here and get some of that brown and just see what happens when we mix it mix it That's like way too much red. Oh my goodness. Oh, ooh, okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, still too red. Okay, meow. Get more brown in there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm gonna nab some white. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, there it is. Yes. Oh my gosh, you don't even know how satisfying that is. <laughs> or maybe you do, because you're watching. I'm gonna cover the whole thing in this color. I'm gonna cover the entire interior of my house with this material. Have you guys seen the movie Get Him to the Greek? There's a, a scene with Diddy, and he accidentally takes a very, very strong hallucinogenic drug. And they go to a house where there's a furry wall, and he's just, he's just, he's just petting it. He is just petting it. And at one point, like, he's looking at someone while they're both petting, they're both petting the furry wall. He goes, I'm gonna cover the entire ins inside of my house with this material. And I think about that all the time. Just give it some like mountains and, and, and rock faces. And yeah, 
Get that Mars life. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Mars. Cool. Now the fun planet. Jupiter has rings around it. Not like Saturn, where they're like surrounding the planet itself. It has all of these different rings of gas making up the planet. So I have my, my flat brush again, and I'm going to go in with the different colors and sort of tap out where the lines are. I'm going to start with a white line. So we've got about there. Okay, so I'm just sort of placing where I want it to go, and then I'm going to create the thickness. I'm going to place and drag it down just a little bit to give it that thicker band. And this top part is sort of like different layers of like a brassy color. I need brown for that. Let's bring some brown up here. Little bit of yellow to make it a little more golden. So here's the color I'm getting. Yeah, that'll work. And give it a bit of a, 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 a cap, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. That sort of comes down here as well, like the same color. And I am tilting my brush kind of flat Okay, like you can see that a lot of color is coming in because this is sort of the base color. I'm just leaving those gaps where I want there to be slightly darker colors so I can get the spacing right. And then medium and then the gas storm, which is the cool part of Jupiter other than Jupiter being freaking enormous, but that's almost red. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna make this color just a little bit darker, start giving it some shadow at the bottom. So the storm's gonna be right there, but we got this. Then we can go even darker for the very, very bottom. A little bit of red into it, just a little, just, just a little, just to, just to, just to toast it up a bit. Pretty dark band right there. Pretty dark one here. Uh huh. Fill that in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they aren't perfectly uniform across. I'm just using the very, very edge of my flat, flat, flat brush, tapping in the shape of. The eye of the storm. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's okay. We got brush zero, y'all. Cool. All right, so I've got this color going. Sort of fill that in. Sort of fill in the gaps. That needs to be grayer. There we go. Literally just made some, some gray. There's like a, a sunspot here from getting, you know, reflection from the freaking sun. I'm trying to make like with some dark gray to put this in shadow. Yeah, see that side looks nice. That side looks like it's shaded, all right? And that looks weird. I'm gonna make it yellower instead of just straight white. It's actually not bad. It kind of looks like if Jupiter and the Death Star had a baby and I'm kind of okay with it. Wait, that did something for me. Okay, we're keeping it. Don't touch Jupiter anymore. Hey, hey, you, 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 don't touch Jupiter anymore. Now, today, it's not really gonna be a dry time break so much as a rest your shoulders break. <laughs> You ever just got a real clean brush and you just gotta paint your face? It's time for Saturn! Let's do it. No, Sid the Sloth was the other day. <laughs> Saturn is like a, a pale gold color. So I'm thinking mostly yellow. A little dab of brown. Let's just see what happens when we mix that. Okay, that's a little dark. Let's get some more white. There, ooh, okay, yeah. Just gonna fill in all of Saturn with this color real quick. Add a little more yellow to this color. So I'm gonna drag it to the side and then bring it. Oh, I'm so scared with the, with the little hair, but I can cover it up with some black, that's okay. And sort of bring it around like that, around and down kind of situation. And if I need to carve things out, I'll carve things out, like one of them, you know? Got a, a brush four, right, like that. Bring it into this top bit, sort of shade. And you see, you can sort of see that it is close enough to the color that it barely looks like anything is happening, but it's different enough that the shading looks like it's actually there. And then got like a little, 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 little bit of white here. 
and more of that gray, that yellowy gray is down here. Okay, Saturn, I see you. Get your shine on, girl. Sort of darken it up to give it the, the shadowiness down here. Yes, there's a much lighter band right above the actual rings. It sort of comes up, it's not a perfect band. Now, whenever you are painting um, on top of wet paint and you get that little blend, that's sort of, you can see happening. I am always cleaning off my brush in between. I'm just wiping it off and a, like a clean part of my palette and then going and getting the color again so that I can go in with the pure color I'm trying to use. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, I like it a lot. Give a little more blend to this bottom bit. Back in with my favorite, Fletzy. Well, screw using the numbers. All my brushes have nicknames. Yeah, Dale Rowney, brush number four, Fletzy. Just straight brown. I'm gonna put... Put a line where the band is cool. I like that. There is a white ring, you know, one ring to rule them all. I hope you can see, just gent gently tapping. I pulled back here and this edge looks like it's blurring into the background. I don't like that. So I need a little bit of black, I'm gonna carve it out. That is so much better. Let's do Uranus. Now, what's nice about Neptune and Uranus is that they're pretty much just solid color. They have a little bit of something. Uranus is this super, super like light grayish turquoise color. And then Neptune is that really pretty blue color with some shading. So I'm just basically going to make two spheres. Let's just go straight gray. Yeah, there we go. Gray, 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 gray. As opposed to ray, 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 ray. Awesome. And then we darken slightly for shading purposes. Get a little more black. Add it to the gray. We now have a shading color. I mean, like that's it. Let's do a little like something. Sort of give it something because it looks like there's something there. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see? Looks like a sphere. Now let's get some Neptune. Neptune. Hell yeah. Trying a, a smaller roundish brush. I'm very upset with this brush. Can you, can you see what that says? That says five out of zero. It is a cardinal rule of mathematics that you will never divide by zero. So someone tell me what this means before I get very angry at it. Still gonna use it. See, it's really dark. It's okay, we're just gonna work with it. There's a lot of, uh, there's a really big sunspot or a really big highlight. So we're just, we're gonna work with it and we're just gonna, it's fine. For the sunspot, I'm not gonna clean off my brush. I'm just gonna gradually add white to it. And again, I'm just, I'm wiping off my brush on the side a little bit to clean it in a way, but then go get more paint. So the, the nickname for the five out of zero brush is the outlaw. Now Flatsy is clean. So I'm gonna sort of brush around, maybe give it a chance to dry down a little bit and then do our little, our little scratching technique to blend it a little bit nicer. I just think the paint's a little too thick right now but we'll go back in and futz in a minute. And, and yes, I'm calling Neptune a boy planet because Neptune was the god of the sea, All right? Venus is the girl planet and the other planets are whatever. The other planets are whatever. I had to find a different picture to find the color of Pluto because the original picture I was using didn't have Pluto in it. Poor Pluto. Sort of a, a pinky brown you know, little speckly guy. So we're gonna make him a pinky brownie speckly guy. That means we're gonna need some white and a little bit of red. A little, 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 little bit. So this is what I'm working with here. Okay. There's our sort of pinky color. I'm gonna place that down first. Right. And then without cleaning off my brush, I'm gonna dip into the brown. So I'm going here. A little more brown so it actually looks like something happened. Okay, give it some something. Forever ago, I don't even remember, I think we did it with the sloth. I'm using brush zero and, and I'm tapping it down, right, to get some speckles. Yeah, like that. Ta-da! I'm gonna make them a little heavier in the back, make this look a little more shadowed. Love it. Great, fantastic. Pluto, welcome to the frickin' family. I'm gonna tap in like a little bit of red and white just to give it 
think so you know that there's some pink involved. Yes. Ah, stop. Andrea, right there. Stop. 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 We got Flatsy again because I still don't like Neptune. <laughs> but I'm going to get some more blue. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's do some more highlighting. Getting very little white paint. Just sort of moving it in there. Just messing with the lines of, of Jupiter as opposed to the drops of Jupiter. It's a solar system. It's a solar system. I'll bring it in even closer. Yeah, so there we have it. You got the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, we skipped the asteroid belt, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Oh, I'm really happy with this one. Does it look more full now because we had this corner? Well, that's day 13. That's lucky number 13 with the fun hair. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. If you like this video, please make a comment in the doobly doo. I can't believe I just said that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Share the video. Come back tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>